second. Hi guys, welcome back to part 57 of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous video, we have worked on the range sensor, starting from the basic working principle, interfacing with Arduino and basic coding to read the sensor values and control the LED brightness based on the amount of raindrops. So in this video, we'll be making automatic rain sensing wiper project using the rain sensor and servo motor. Before watching this video, you should be familiar with the rain sensor and servo motor basics. So make sure you check out those tutorial links from the description box. For this video, you need Arduino board, rain sensor module, two servo motors. I'm using this SG90 micro servo motor and some jumper wires. I purchased all these project components from flyrobo.in. They have very huge collection of components and the prices are also reasonable compared to other platforms. Along with Arduino components, there are also other categories. So the single platform will help you to get all the required materials for your projects. Make sure you explore their products. I leave the link in the description box. Moving on to the connections. First, I'll take the Arduino 5 volts line common into three connections since we need it for sensor and the servo motor. From the sensor, the VCC and ground goes to Arduino 5 volts and ground. Analog output pin to Arduino analog pin A0. For the servo motors, the VCC and ground of both which is red and brown goes to Arduino 5 volts and ground. The signal pin which is the orange one of the first motor goes to digital pin 9 and the second motor goes to digital pin 10. That's all the connections. For any doubts, refer to the circuit link provided in the description box. Now I'll connect the Arduino board to the computer and we'll start with the programming. As I told before, we'll be using previous two tutorials as a reference. One is the rain sensor video. So here rain sensor is connected to pin A0 and we are reading the sensor pin using analog read function and printing the data. So this will be the first code which remains same in this project as well. And second video is on the servo motor. So using servo library, we are creating servo object attaching to pin 9. In the loop, we are using incrementing and decrementing for loop to move the servo shaft 0 to 180 degree and 180 to 0. So this uses write function. For our today's project, I'll just combine both of this logic. I've already written the code. I'll just go through the flow. So we have header file inclusion for servo library. And by default, I have kept the servo position to 180. So later this we have to change based on our hardware setup. Rain sensor is connected to A0. For our project, we are using two servo motors. So with the same servo class, I have defined two servo objects. In the setup function, I am initializing the serial communication with baud rate of 9600. First servo is attached to pin 9 and I am keeping the default position to 0 degrees. Second servo is attached to pin 10 and this also will start from 0 degree. In the loop, reading the sensor pin with analog read function and storing it in this variable. I'm also printing the same on the serial monitor. If the value from the sensor ADC is greater than 950, which means there is no water, 
so I'm printing no rain I'll keep both the servo in the same state which is at zero degree when there is some water on the sensor the value will be in between 650 to 950 so which I'll consider it as medium rain and I'm calling the servo control function with two arguments first is the degree which is the maximum angle the shaft can move the second argument is the delay between each steps which is in millisecond and in the last case if there is more water the value from the sensor goes less than 650 so this I'll consider it as more rain and again the same servo control function with the same degree value but I've changed the delay between each step to 5 milliseconds so when there is less delay between every step the servo motor will move faster so at last we'll have a look inside this function which I have created the main logic will remain same as per the previous servo basics tutorial we have two for loops one is in the incrementing and other one in the decrementing form so inside this we are calling the servo dot write function for both the servo motors and also there is a delay between every step so the degree and the delay between every step we are getting from the above function calls so that's it the code we'll upload this and see the results after uploading the code I'll open serial monitor by default I'm getting the sensor ADC value as 1019 which is no rain if I spray some water drops on the sensor the value goes in between 650 to 950 which indicates medium rain so that's why both the motors start working with lower speed so I'll increase the water drops the sensor value is less than 650 which indicates more rain as we can see the servo motors started moving with faster speed if I remove some water drops the speed automatically decreases on completely removing the water drops servo motors stop working in order to make this project look more realistic and finished I'll make some craft work mounting the servos also I have 3d printed this wiper blades with my new a1 mini printer This is how it looks finally after assembling everything.
So this is all about the automatic rain sensing wiper project. I hope it was interesting and useful. If you are planning to make this project, you can check out the code and circuit link from the description. For any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe and follow us on Instagram for more projects and updates. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in the next video.